In the wake of a tumultuous era marked by a global pandemic and continuing political upheaval, one might pause to ask, what has become of the fabric of our nation? It's a valid question, one that probes at the heart of our collective disquiet. We find ourselves in a time of fraying civility, where disinformation, bigotry and hatred seem to have found more than a small foothold. Gun violence and divisiveness have become the order of the day. Our government and justice system appear to wallow in chaos, and the credibility and fitness of our leaders and candidates is under increasing scrutiny. Our concerns extend beyond the present, reaching into what could be a dark future. We worry about our children, our schools, and the safety and quality of life they will inherit. The state of our infrastructure and our economy seems uncertain, if not precarious. The specter of terrorism, war, and the crumbling of the liberal world order, both at home and abroad, looms ominously over us. But despair not, for there is a path to healing, a way to mend the ruptures that have divided us. It is a journey that requires us to tell and recognize the truth about the reality around us, and to focus on two key elements, decency and reconnection. Decency is the cornerstone of any thriving society. It's an ethos that transcends political affiliations, religious beliefs, and cultural differences. It's about treating each other with respect, understanding, and kindness. It's about embracing diversity and acknowledging that our differences enrich us rather than divide us. It's about cultivating a sense of fairness, equity, and justice where every voice matters and every individual is treated with dignity. The second element is reconnection. We must rekindle the bonds that have been strained and frayed by the troubling events we have seen. We must reconnect with our families, our friends, our communities. We must foster an environment that encourages scrupulous honesty, dialogue, understanding, and mutual respect. We must remember that we are stronger together, that our collective strength can overcome many of the challenges we face. And finally, we must reconnect with our country. We must remember that despite our differences, we all share a common love for this country and its storied history and ideals. We must work together to nurture and protect it, to ensure that it be and remain a beacon of hope and opportunity for the world and for future generations. In conclusion, the path to healing our nation lies in dedicating ourselves to true and sincere patriotism, fostering a culture of caring, kindness, and decency, and nurturing a spirit of recommitment and reconnection. It's a journey that demands tolerance, understanding, and most importantly, active participation from each one of us. The result will affect each of us, everyone. So today, make a commitment to be the change you want to see. Embrace decency in your interactions with others, reconnect with those around you, and most importantly, care about our country and our life together again. Because together, we can restore the fabric of our nation and build a future we can all be happy about and proud of. The risks of inaction are existential. The time is now.